page 18, Autumn First Movement. This is from a, a series of, or a collection of pieces Vivaldi did called The Four Seasons. And this is one of the seasons, Autumn. It's a very fast piece. Uh, it's a wonderful, I encourage you to go listen to The Four Seasons. Just search for Four Seasons by Vivaldi and, and you'll find it. For page 18, I'm going to talk one hand at a time mostly. Uh, so let's just start out with the right hand here. At the beginning, third finger on that high E up here. And these are staccatos, and I'm just going to pluck them. The half note in the next measure is not staccato. Hold that down. It's just the quarter notes. Two. Second line, it's slurred. Connect it. So you have a quarter note, so one and two and three and four. And they tell you to move lower. That's nice of them. Normally it doesn't tell you that. You just look at the note, you look at the finger number, and you figure out you gotta move lower. So it's third finger, you got one beat to do this in. You got third finger here. So you gotta know where you're at. You end it here. You gotta know where you're going and which finger's involved. So I'm going third finger here. We practice these moves if we have to in piano. So and then we're, basically it's the same thing in octave lower. Page in 19. Now they're splitting up the melody between the two hands. So I'm going to talk about both hands here. You're here. No staccato. The reason is we want some contrast in the music. We like contrast in music. Things that are different. This first part's been very staccato, been very. But now it's long. And those curved lines, it's just a, a slur line telling you to connect the notes. And then in the second line, you're back to the staccatos again. Go down to the third line, second measure, you're here. You got one quarter rest to go back up where you were at the beginning, here. Etc. for the right hand. Not bad, I hope. For the left hand, at the top of page 18, again staccatos. Except for the half note. You can't pluck a thumb. The thumb sideways. You gotta come down and up. Because if you pluck it, you're gonna pluck sideways. So it doesn't work. But you can pluck the other notes. Second line, whole note gets four counts, and then the next measure you got to get the four and the two down at the same time. It's a little awkward going from one note to two notes. Put your hand in the position for the chord, that is the two and the four are low, and you drop the hand. Well, do it with the thumb is down, now just put your hand in that position and drop the hand. A little bit, you get the hang of it. It's not that hard once you get the hang of it. Nothing's that hard once you get the hang of it, is it? That makes a lot of sense sometimes. This is just wonderful. You have the same thing in the last two measures you whole note C and then the G and the B. You can separate them if you have to, it's up to you. You'll be better off in the long run if you can learn to connect them, though. You're going to need to eventually. Over on page 19, again, the first line, the left hand shares the melody until the second line, and then it's just pretty much a repeat of what you've already done in the second line. No big deal. I hope. It's no big deal. No big deal for me, anyway. I don't know. So, watch when you put the hands together. At the beginning of page 18, you're here. You may have to practice. Learning things one hand at a time is one thing, but when you put the hands together, blech, that it's like st almost starting over some cases. But I think you'll find that it's not too bad if you've actually learned the hands one at a time. You can get them together. Take them real slow. If you have to, forget the rhythm. Just concentrate on the notes. And just try and get the right notes at the right time. Then when you can get the notes, Put the rhythm back in because the rhythm's important, and you got to be able to play it. You know the beat goes on; it's just steady. 
You got to be able to play without any hesitation or anything at all. And that's hard to do. The right hand's been moving around. The left hand pretty much stays where it's at. This piece, it says Allegro. This is a fast piece if you, if you listen to an orchestra play. So it's like an echo because it starts loud and this is soft. And then over on page 19. sort of how it goes. We're going to go super slow. You got to go slow and you'd gradually speed it up to that fast if that's how fast you want to go. There's no set speed for Allegro. It's a range of things. It's up to you. It's like you have your limit on how fast you can go anyway, so don't go beyond that. Make it sound nice. Huh? Well, I'm going to give us four counts. Let's try this slowly. So put your right hand here, left hand here. Okay. One, two, ready, go. a duet at the bottom naturally so I'm going to play that and you play what you just did but again need you to go up an octave so instead of here go up here just pretend middle C is here and your left hands on middle C here and you're, then you're an octave you're up here you're way up there so I can have these notes I want these notes <coughs> So I'm going to give us four counts. I'm going to speed it up a bit. I'm not going to speed it up as fast as it goes, but I am going to speed it up some. So go ahead and put your hands where they go, up here. And here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. 